In your uh, memoir, you've said that you had no knowledge of what you've generously described as his inappropriate relationship with some of his female Mennonite students. Others would use the term sexual assault. My question to you is, how do we read Yoda's work, it being a core text for many theology students, in the light of his abuse of power? It's a very serious question. Uh, If you think, as I think you should think, that our lives should make a difference for how our work is received, then John's behavior presents a very uh, serious question about the use of his work. Um, I find it, I have students, former students, who are Mennonites, who have decided they won't have students read John's work anymore. I can't do that. I mean, uh, of course, I'm, I'm retired, so I'm not going to be teaching, but if I were teaching, um, I would still use the politics of Jesus as one of the, and other writings of his. But I would do so with an asterisk and say, we really have to think about this. John, being brilliant as he was, stupidly had a theory. He had a theory that said, the mainstream tells us that men and women can only touch one another if they're married. But for brothers and sisters in Christ, it surely must be the case that there can be non-sexual forms of touching that um, uh, are not, that is not adultery. Well, um, that was just crazy. <laughs> but he thought that that was part of the eschatological possibilities that um, is suggested in the New Testament. I think he was just wrong. And that um, he is rightly uh, criticized by many weighty Mennonite women for what he did. Mm. And it, it just shouldn't be women, but I mean, many of the many of the women that uh, were involved with him um, um, ha- have come out and been critical, but many others who were, who weren't necessarily involved with him also uh, have come out, and rightly so. This is Premier Christian Radio. Where faith 